All right, I'm going to show you how to do a finite state machine here. First, let's. This is the finite state machine here, but let's look at in my main. I've got a next state and an output. The output is as long as the input here is zero, 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 then you get an output of one. So this input has to be zero. This one has to be zero, and this one has to be zero. We can look at the table, which shows you that the only way that you get an output of one is if you get an input of zero, zero, zero. Okay. If we look at the next state, this is the the, the machine here. So let's go look at the table. So here you only have two places that will give you zero, zero, zero. And if you remember what I just said, that the only time that you get an output of one here is if the inputs, all three inputs are zeros. See, these, are, these will be your inputs for the output section. So zero, 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 the only time that you get zero, 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 is if you have an input of zero and you're at zero 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 so here on this first one you get zero 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 the next time the only other time that you get all zeros here on this output here is when you've got an input of one and you're at state zero one zero and what I mean by state is this this is a state diagram so this double circle here just means that it's the start or the final state. Sorry, this arrow means that this is the start state. These are the states listed here. You've got zero, zero, zero. This is state one, state two, state three, state four, state five. But we've listed them here as state zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, so on and so forth. So you can see here. So the only time that you're going to get and output is if you're at this state right here. So if I'm if I start out at zero zero zero, which is this state right here, and my input is a zero, as you can tell here, it just loops around, and you're right back here at zero. So that's what this means right here. See, input of zero, which is this. This is the state zero zero zero, and this right here tells you what state you go to. Well. If my input's zero and I'm at zero zero zero, then whoop, I'm at, I'm at state zero zero zero. If I'm at zero 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 and I get a one, if you look here, if I'm at state zero 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 and my input is a one, then I should go to zero zero one, which is what this is here, so on and so forth. So the only two places that I can get to state zero is if I'm at zero and I get a zero, or if I'm at state zero one zero and I get a one, which is what this says right here. At state zero one zero, if I get a one, then I go back to zero zero zero, then I get an output of one. All the other states you don't get. So you have to be at zero 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 to get a, in a, get a zero, or you have to be at zero one zero. So let's go look at the main here, and let's just walk through it. Now see here, I've got zero zero. These are my outputs. I just put outputs here just so I could see what exactly are, is going on, because technically these are outputs, but technically they're inputs that go into this is the next state. Um, the next state here. This is your D flip flop here. So let's look let's look through it. Alright, so we're gonna pull up the diagram. So if I'm at and it's gonna keep going back, I have to go back and forth, but if I'm at state zero, zero, or if I'm at state zero, 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 and I get an input of zero, then like we said before, I come back to the final state and I should get a one, which is what it's showing here. Okay, so if I'm at state zero zero zero, and I get I get a one, and I go through the cycle here, 
it should take me so if I'm at 0, 0, 0 and I get a 1 technically I should go to state 0, 0, 1 which according to this 0, 0, 1 yep that's where I'm at and there's no output because these have to be zeros for it to get an output so if I get a if I get a 0 here I'm at state 0, 0, 1 if I get a 0 here then I should go to this state so let's change my input so if I get a zero here then I'm at zero zero one see that I should go to zero one zero okay so let's see what it does zero one zero that's I'm right here so if I get an input and see I've still got a zero here because there's no output but if I get a one here I'm right here but if I get a one input of one I should go back to this state right here so let's look and see if that works so I'm at zero one zero zero one zero right here and I want to see what happens when I get a one technically these should go back to zeros I should go back to state zero so I'm gonna get a one a one boom I'm back to state zero there we have it and this is the finite state machine using D flip flops this is my um, my next state here which we looked at just a second ago that's the next state and this right here is my output and that is a finite state machine based on this diagram right here divisible by five.